Car Talk is brought to you by Tim's Trucking, Rice County Mutual, Monte Cruzi Electric, Towns Lock and Key, Keller Insurance Agency, Dr. David Garley, State Bank of Fairbo, Fairbo Foods, and the IBEW Local Union 110. Now here's your host, Jerry Grosskreutz. Oh boy, Fair Talk again. John Dvorak in studio along with Tara Langevin, Tara's real job, Fairbo Insurance. Did you like the way I said that? Yeah, I like that, Jerry. Thanks. (laughs) So are we down to days yet or are we still counting weeks, John? I'm still counting weeks this week. (laughs) But it's less than a month. It's less than a month. It'll be here before we know it. You know, all of a sudden somebody comes and sprinkle carnival seed and fair (laughs) seed on the fairgrounds and it up pops uh, I thought maybe we would have just transferred some of that or transplanted some of the the carnival seed from the Heritage Day celebration last week and just put it out at the Rice County Fair. Uh, we like ours to be nice and fresh. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> and, of course, Tara Langevin in studio. I'm not sure we have to introduce Tara at all. I think everybody knows Tara. <laughs> And I'm just going to leave it at that, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> uh, but Tara, you're you're kind of the computer geek on the fair board. Is that what I understand? Yep. Yeah, I try to do uh, try to do the behind the scenes, but it because uh, you're the shy, quiet type. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. So yeah. Yeah, but that's a big job uh, keeping the fair website and all the social media and everything up to speed. Yep, that is true. That is, uh, it's 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 a year round. You know, I mean. Just trying to make sure that I have everything updated. Um, you know, this morning someone emailed me and said, hey, this isn't the right one on there. I'm like, oh, so I quickly went on, changed it, removed it, um, just kind of update things. Um, you know, and then the Facebook, I try to, you know, have different contests or things out there, you know, every week or every so. In the next few weeks, we're going to have some different things coming out there. So just make sure that you're keeping checking an eye on it. Checking often because lots of things will be changing almost every day between now and the Rice County Fair. That is true. That is true. And um, we're going to be adding a Rice County Fair Instagram. So, you know, for those of you that know what that is. That uh, John just had that deer in the headlights <laughs> look. So why don't you explain what Instagram is? Well, we, we've got Facebook and that actually is more for the Kind of older generations, kind of the 40s, the 50-year-olds. Yep, yep. Keep going, 40s. Or 60s, you know. <laughs> so it's it's kind of, it, you know, it's the social media for the older generation. The Instagram is basically you have um, pictures and stories that you can share, and that's more for your, your teens, your millennials. And that, that works better on uh, cell phones and, and iPhones and yep, all that? Yep, yep. It's basically, you know, most of the kids just use it on their cell phones and everything. So, and I'm going to actually have the uh, assistance of my my teenage daughter helping me do that Imagine for, the, for that. the fair. So. See, yep. John, John's a very good delegator. <laughs> 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 and I don't feel quite so bad now because Tara has to have her teenage daughter help her with the Instagram. So I don't feel quite so bad. Well, she'll be down there every day. So, I mean, she's going to be the one that's going to be, all right, and she'll run around, take some fun different photo shots and things like that. And then put them right on. And the, then put them right on the Instagram. Yep. Yep. I was impressed with my myself that, thanks to President Trump, I know what Twitter is now. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said on that topic. No. <laughs> but it is a big part of promoting things like the fair, the whole social media and the Internet and... That's right. You know, at times are changing, and these are one of the things that are changing with it. Is you know, uh, with today's technology, I mean, Instagram. You know, that's what it means instantly. I mean, you mm-hmm. put something down there, and there it is. Yeah. It's it's on there right away, and and you know, hundreds of thousands of people can see it. Uh, you know, seconds after you put it yeah. on. So it's a new way of uh, uh, of advertising, and uh, you know, you have to kind of keep up with the times and. Uh, the, something that you utilize and hopefully it, it works and, it helps uh, get more people to the fair right. see what's going on mm-hmm. although i will say there's one thing that the social media cannot do at the rice county fair and that's deliver uh, pork sandwiches to our booth <laughs> well that's they can't true. get you fair food yet can they <laughs> stand by john Terry. we have to take a break for the markets and we'll continue with fair talk 2017 on kdhl here's the market update when we were gone and she said What's my, you know, password and everything so that she can, you know, uh-huh. go ahead and, and start opening it up and then, you know, just going down and taking some random photos in the next few weeks of, of things that are going on, getting ready for the fair. And you know what's fun? Even after the fair, 
to go back and then see some of the pictures and some of the different things that went on at the fair and kind of have the opportunity to relive some of the fun times. Exactly. I mean, then, you know, anybody can post, um, anybody will, will be able to post, um, you know, onto that Instagram page. And, and once we get it, you know, the right wordage out there and stuff, you can hashtag it. And Ooh, John, <laughs> John this, this could be a bad situation because be. somebody might it's take a, a picture of, of you and I, uh, Mooching uh, pork sandwiches from Kevin at the yeah or at the you know pork last producer's year stand. like we had the uh, little bull riding contest where John cheated. I, I don't know. I did watch the video a couple times, even though he, I missed it. I, I someone taped it for me. He practiced ahead of time. <laughs> But we didn't have nothing in the rules that we couldn't <laughs> practice. That's true. That's true. <laughs> practice makes perfect. Is the mechanical bull going to be back this year? It's going to be back. Yes, it is. But uh, So he's going to follow through on it then because John bribed him. He said if he let John practice, then he'd let him back into the fair again this year. That's what I heard ah. happened. That's why John was able to beat me. That's what I heard. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But... Uh, I think we'll just let somebody else ride that bull. <laughs> he's going to quit while he's ahead. Maybe it'll be, be maybe the grudge match this year will be between Tara and Jerry. Oh, it could be. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you, you go right ahead there, Jerry. Just remember um, when that your feet go flying in the air, that ground is awful hard, yeah. even though there is a uh, cushion there. there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, but this is what a county fair is all about: that's having right. fun, making people laugh, and nothing's more rewarding than to go out and see whole families out there. I took one of the cutest pictures last year of a 4-H family: dad, mom, and two or three of the kids all had the green 4-H shirts on, and they were showing or doing something at the fair. That's what it's all about. That's right, Jerry. That's what it's all about, and, and uh, we try to keep that tradition going at the Rice County Fair. And you know, it just doesn't happen with the animals. I mean, you know, we have general exhibits that we bring in. We have contests that we have that we involve in the fair, and it's just a way for more people to to do something that's fun for them, something that they enjoy doing, and being able to bring it to the fair and and exhibiting it at the fair. And uh, you know, I don't know that it's so much as them winning a a ribbon for it is, you know, having the fun and being part of the fair and, and, and being an exhibitor at the fair. That hey, there is a lot of open class from baking and vegetables and corn and all sorts of things in that open class beautiful building, by the way. <laughs> That's right. And then you open up the premium book and, you know, there's page after page after page of what you could enter uh, to bring in open class uh, in general exhibits. And, uh, you know, that's one of the unique things about not only the Rice County Fair, but all fairs is, you know, there is that opportunity to come in and, and um, you know, bring the, your best of your best, what you can do. And I think we great. should have I think we should have a category in open class called talking. Maybe I could compete in that one. You maybe could, but, you know, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, Tara? Go ahead and let it go. Yeah, just, I, I, could, I, you, you're, I can see your face is getting red and your blood pressure is going up, so just go ahead and say it. <laughs> we already have 24 different classes of many, many things that people can exhibit. You know, talking, I think, Jerry, I think you'll just stay there um, at the fair, at your stand, and, and do your talking there. <laughs> In between bites of fair food. Yes, yes. Because <laughs> somebody has to sample all the fair food to make sure it's okay for the regular I agree. people that visit I the agree. fair. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Anything new, John, since the last thing we talked before we get too carried away uh, that we should mention? Well, uh, the ri- know, let's let's start with the uh, drop to you drop ride tickets. Are they right. out uh, yet? Our passport, they went out into the... Uh, Places that are, we're going to sell them at, uh, High V Grocery Store here in Faribault, and this year also Fairway Foods is also selling them at Fairway Foods. So the Passport to Fun tickets are out, and uh, they're ready for purchase. Uh, later on this week, I'm going to have the uh, pre-sale advance tickets for the uh, rodeo that we have, the Barnes Rodeo that we have coming in on Friday night. And that's night. Friday night, yeah. And uh, those tickets are also going to be available at uh, High V and Fairway Foods, and not only those places, but they'll be available at the State Bank of Faribault and also at Ace Hardware. Uh, and, so boy, thanks be, to those sponsors, too, for helping bring this big-time rodeo that's into right. town. Yeah, you know, all four of these are big major sponsors of the rodeo coming in, and, and uh, we appreciate that. Uh, so, you know, those tickets will be uh, on sale, and they'll also be on sale at the uh, fair office 
in at the fairgrounds. And when will the fair office uh, be kind of staffed during normal business hours? That start about a week before the fair? No, that's their fair office is staffed uh, now. Oh, now we're already. usually there Monday through Thursday. Notice he said we. He might be there, but. Uh, the uh, the lovely behind the scenes gal is already there and she's listening to us right now. <laughs> That's right. We all know who really is a fair manager. <laughs> Go ahead and say her name, Tara. <laughs> yeah. You know Chris Paschke. She's our secretary out there at the Rice County Fair, and uh, uh, without her, we'd be lost. I really mean that, and she does a fantastic job, and uh, she keeps me on my toes and uh, keeps reminding me of stuff that I need to be reminded of, and. Uh, <laughs> So she's there. Yeah, usually she gets in between nine and nine thirty, and she's usually there till uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. And um, so you know, there's an opportunity if you need to come by the fair office uh, for any information or uh, pre-sale tickets or these ride tickets, uh, you can stop on by the office. Uh, our premium book went to print. It should be in print right now. And I'm hoping that uh, by next Monday uh, we'll have the books and be able to start distributing the premium books. Uh, next week. so uh, It's always fun to all. look through those and see some of the pictures from previous fairs. And I don't know, Tara, with the technology we have, I'm wondering if some fairs might even be going away with uh, the fair books and just everything is online. But I kind of like me. Is that a sign I'm old-fashioned? I still kind of like the book. <laughs> yeah, and, and there are some fairs that actually only do their um, their books online and or only have, have all their general entries online only. Um, but, you know, I, I'm i kind of like you, even though, you know, I'm a little younger, Jerry. I'll get you there. A little bit younger. But um, <laughs> I, I am old school, too. I like to look at it, and it's like, okay, well, fold your papers down. Okay, this is what I want to show, or this is what I want to look write at. Write notes and, in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and you write notes in it. Um, and, and year to year, things change. Um, you know, maybe like in our quilting this year, there was um, a few changes um, within the sizes of the quilts, um, so definitely when you know you look in the book, there's there's always changes in there. Um, you know we've separated it out a couple years ago so that you've got the um, like the preschool, the younger younger, and the elementary and the junior first, and then it goes to all the adult or um, general you know open exhibits. So we we separated it out so it's maybe we hope a little bit easier to find things that they need, um, you know, kind of grouped all the kids stuff all together. Um, you know, it, it's nice to do that. Um, you know, I mean, there's so many different, you know, flowers that, you know, are out there, you know, we've added, you know, the gluten or we've added the healthy, you know, you know, baking. Um, we added that about five years ago because there was a demand for it. Um, you know, so we've, we've roll with the different, you know, times and the changes and we make sure things. yeah we, we try to make sure and change things up um now jerry i know you're going to be disappointed in one thing that we did Uh-oh. change what did you change we got rid of the pie contest oh no i know i know in back of my desk with all my other <laughs> stuff i've collected over the years there's about four or five ribbons that says official judge right county fair pie contest Oh. Well, we added a new one. We added a new contest. What? Pickles. Pickles. Oh. That's Best specific. Pickles. And Best so pickles. is this like bread and butter? It could be dill? It yep. could be. Yep. Yep. So that'll be in the book. Um, it's actually already updated on the website also. So the information is up on the website with the rules. Um, Who's in charge of that contest? Uh, Do you know off the top of your head? Well, Kathy Cap's in charge of it. Ooh, so I don't I know. know I, think you could, I think you could maybe be a judge again. I haven't had a good dill pickle since Louise's grandmother passed away about 35 years ago. Louise doesn't make you pickles? <laughs> uh, Louise is a little busy trying to pay the bill so I can be in radio oh, and farm a little bit. Okay. Her mom made the best. I mean, she'd raise the, the cucumbers mm-hmm. and she'd raise the dill in her garden. and that, Oh, she made the best dill pickles. Well, that was me last <laughs> night. I went to grab a jar of jalapenos out of my cupboard and all of a sudden I'm like, wait. They used to have pickles in there. And my husband goes, yeah, I think that must have been the leftover stuff that you had. And I just chopped them up. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some spicy pickles. There's a difference between dip pickles and jalapenos? <laughs> hey, I ate them. It didn't matter. They were good. <laughs> oh, but that, when you think about, you mentioned quilts. Mm-hmm. You know, how many in your generation or your kids' generation 
know how to make a quilt like our grandmothers did. It's, it's great that you are seeing some of the, that knowledge passed down, and the, the fair is a great way to to show that knowledge. It, it is, and um, you know, on entry day, it is. It's wonderful to see these younger kids that are coming in with these cookies. They are so proud that they made, and then you have grandma or sometimes great grandma walking right with them. And they're like, okay, make sure you get your name in and make sure we got the right one on there. So that's what I, that's what I love seeing. Not only are they learning how to do it, but then they're spending time with their grandchildren. It's, it's family. It's, you know, the bonds. That's what fairs are helping do. That's right. And you know, it's, it's promoting these uh, life, little life mess- lessons and memories that uh, you, these kids will take with them forever. Uh, you know, I can remember, uh, you know, my grandparents helping me, my parents helping me, mm-hmm. and, and you doing things together. It was, it was a family, and and uh, you know, it was when I was growing up. That was the one thing that we did. It was one day that we came up to the Rice County Fair. And we did it as a family. And, and, you know, I remember that and I'll remember that for the rest of my life. And, and the beauty of going to a county fair like the Rice County Fair, it's a free fair. If you want to park on the grounds, there's a small fee for parking. Right. But if money's tight and you want to walk a couple, three, four blocks, you can do that. You can have some fair food because a lot of the fair food is very reasonably priced. Nice. But if money's tight, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money at the fair and you can have a great day. That's exactly right. Uh, you know, the parking lots are close to the fairgrounds. I mean, you know, you pack a bag lunch and, and have a picnic in the parking lot. And, uh, you know, that's just the fun of being here, you know. And then, you know, you got your 4-H program, which is another great program, you know, where families uh, do things together and, and the kids come and they bring all these buildings, uh, fill these buildings up with beautiful displays with the general life. Uh, you know, you got your general exhibits. And uh, it's just fun to walk through that building and see what these kids can do. Oh, oh, I just glanced at the clock. We better take a break or Jerry will be in trouble. All right. (laughs) Here's from some of our other great sponsors, and then we'll continue with today's Fair Talk 2017. Generations of local farmers have depended on the Craig Keller Insurance Agency in Near Strength and Farm Mutual Insurance to provide quality farm insurance coverages and friendly local service. Craig Keller works together with farmers to deliver service you can depend on when you need it most. Wouldn't you feel better trusting your family farm to a local insurance company? Call Craig Keller at the Keller Insurance Agency in Near Strand today at 334-6550 to review your farm insurance and experience their policy of working together. How important is security to you and your family? Tom's Lock and Key at 1228 Northwest 4th Street, two blocks east of Arby's in Verbo, gives you that peace of mind. Security with combination changes, car openings, auto lock service, rekeying, safe repair to new installation. Security has never been more important, whether it's your business or home. Tom's Lock and Key reminds you that if you haven't updated your business locks in the past five years, you should do it to ensure your keyholder list is up to date. Tom's Lock and Key, 332-2777. Providing medical and surgical care as well as animal dentistry for large and small animals, Dr. David Garley is your Northfield veterinarian. Emergency services and animal boarding are available. Dr. David Garley can be reached at 507-645-5327. See him at his office at 512 Division Street in Northfield or online at northfieldvet.com. Dr. David Garley takes this time to thank all of his customers for their trust in business and wishes you and your pets and animals the best of health. Rock on! This is Randy with Tim's Trucking. Those old buildings in a crumble? Now it's time to rumble! Take them out with Tim's Trucking Demolition Service. Knock them down, build them up. We'll prepare a new building site with the latest equipment and all the aggregates to make the grade. Fence lines in a jumble? We'll push them up. We've got the Motown sound. Plan it, haul it, and install it. We take pride in our rocking service. Get your fill with Morristown's biggest rock group. See our site, timstrucking.com, or call 685-2222. Homeowners, when was the last time you had your electrical safety checked out? Maybe you have a pending project and you don't know who to call. The man with the answers is Monte Cruzy Electric of Fairbo. Monte Cruzy has over 30 years of providing southern Minnesota with prompt, professional work. Whether you need wiring for any remodeling or new home project, contact Monte Cruzy Electric at 330-1236. That's 330-1236. A homeowner's best friend when it comes to security and peace of mind. Monte is proud to serve Rice and Steele County. Are you looking to buy a home but need help with the down payment? 
Well, I have some exciting news. I'm Brendan Shodin with the State Bank of Faribault, and through our partnership with the Federal Home Loan Bank, we are offering grants of up to $7,500 that can be used to pay for your down payment and closing costs. So come see us to see if you qualify, and remember to make the State Bank of Faribault your first step in the home buying process. Visit us at tsbf.com, member FDIC, equal housing lender, NMLS 638054. Welcome back to today's AM Minnesota program, Fair Talk 2017, with Rice County Fair Manager John Dvorak and Tara Langevin. Tara's real job was with Fairbow Insurance, but you became a volunteer at the Rice County Fair a few years ago, and you kind of got into it. Yeah, I, um, you know, as we were talking earlier, that it's a family affair. Um, yeah, you grew up here. And I, you I were did. showing, exhibiting at the fair. You've been there probably yep, every year your whole life. The, my birthday is usually around the fair, um, either during or right after. Um, I believe my mother said that's the only year she missed the Rice County Fair was the year I was born. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I've been at the fair as long as I can remember showing um, and, you know, showing cattle and, and, and general exhibits and then open class exhibits. And then, um, you know, when I got married and had children, my kids have been showing, um, you know, cooking either with me or with my mother, um, you know, showing in the open class, uh, you know, exhibits. And then my parents kind of asked me to help with the behind the scenes with the computers and the data entry and everything. And so, again, it's it's still a family affair. Now my husband and my, my kids now help. And uh, Did your husband come from a uh, history of a uh, county fair? Or? No, he uh, he was a city boy, um, you know, from Faribault here. And, and, you know, he went to fairs and everything, but... Um, not as not as uh, immersed as as our family. So. But he is now. He is now. Yep, yep. He um, he's he got usually, he's he got corrupted there. in a good way. He did. He did. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I kind of do double duty that week. I I work at my real job, and he's he holds down the fort down at the fair until I get down there later in the afternoon. So. Oh, but the beauty with today's technology, if something happens, one of your customers really have to get a hold of you. Yep. It's a text or a yeah. voice message, and you can take care of it at the fair, run over to the office to take care of it, and then back to the fair. And, and that's true of all the volunteers, isn't it, yep. John, at the Rice County Fair? That's, that's right. And, uh, you know, we have quite a few volunteers that come and volunteer to help out because without them, uh, that fair wouldn't happen. And uh, so, you know, you can't be demanding of them. You know, you you have to let them kind of go with the flow. And if they need to run an errand or they need to go do something personally, then they're allowed to, you know, we take yeah. care of it. Yeah, go uh, take care of it. We'll cover. And the next time exactly I right. might have to leave for a while and they'll cover for you. That's exactly right. So, you know, we're thankful. And, and uh, you know, um, Tara working with us and, and doing this, Tara and her teenage daughter. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Doing the, We're never uh, going to live that no, down, Tara. I'm not. <laughs> you know, the web page and our Internet and all that, you know, we would be lost if it wouldn't be for Tara. She does a great job with it. Uh, she's the one that uh, coordinates everything with the company that we, we buy the service from. And... Um, I know without her, there's no way that I'd be able to uh, take care of it. So I'm not sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm thankful that uh, we have her, and uh, she's a big help taking care of the technology side of it. We only have a couple minutes left, but if you want to keep up to speed on what's going on, the website, riceconeyfair.org. Yeah. Net. Net. I believe. Just go to any search engine, <laughs> type in Rice County Fair, Fairbow, and yep. you'll find it. Or the, you mentioned that the fair books are in print, so they'll be distributed fairly quickly then? The fair books are hopefully going to be distributed early part of next week. And, you know, likewise, they'll be at all the banks in town and out in the surrounding areas. And, and in and other communities and in other the county. areas and, and uh, different businesses. I'm sure we'll put some over here at KDHL. We'll have them at the fairgrounds. Uh, there'll be some at the 4-H office. Because Chris is hard at work at the fair office. When That's John's exactly running around. right. Well, Did I'm you hear out. that, Chris? If I need a favor during the fair, <laughs> <laughs> never hurts to have an IOU out there that is true. when you need it. And uh, we've already have the uh, parking weekly parking passes uh, printed up. So if people are looking for that early uh, purchase of a parking pass for the week, uh, you know, stop by the fair office, and we'll have them there also. And uh, the Rice County Fair Queen uh, program kicks it off on that Tuesday night. We have a number of candidates signed up already. I did hear. I did hear that. I talked to Kathy, and I said she said last week she had three or four more girls that uh, signed up. So. And it's not too late. Plenty no. of time to Never get it too in. Late. So that's right. Uh, so you know, don't hesitate, and you know, join and 
sign up, and it would be a lot of fun. I would think that plug would be worth a cake from Kathy Cap, wouldn't you? Maybe, yeah. yeah. Or maybe she'll make you a pie. That would work, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe she'll let me be one of the official judges in the pickle contest. There you go. <laughs> 30 seconds left, John. Anything else quickly? Uh, you know, just the fair's approaching pass fast, and uh, things are looking and sprucing up real good. You know, this rain that we got the last couple of uh, days, greened you know, greened up. everything up. And, uh, you know, the barns are getting prepared, and buildings are being prepared. And uh, Seed is planted. Yeah, the seed's getting <laughs> planted, so uh, we'll be here before we know it. Thanks, John. Talk to you next week. Thanks for coming in, Tara. <laughs>